Welcome to Getting Started with Windows 8 MDT Deployment. Before we dive into MDT, I want to explain a little bit about our business scenario, why we're doing what we're doing, what our goals are, how the lab is set up, so you can set yours up similarly if you choose to, and then I'm going to cover just a little bit about what MDT can do for you, some of the basic features and some of the advanced features. We will dive into great detail on both of these in the coming lessons. First, meet our corporation. We are Global Mantics, Inc. Currently, we have 200 workstations. That's kind of a mix between desktops and laptops, and then we've got 25 servers. We have a Chicago corporate office, but we have big plans to grow this year. So as we only have one site now, we are going to be adding to our corporation with a Cincinnati site, a Detroit site, and New Jersey. Our goals. We need to deploy Windows 8 to a pilot set of machines, approximately 50 workstations, and we're going to mix up the desktops and laptops, because I want a couple models of each, just to test all the drivers and make sure we have everything set up properly. Then we're also going to deploy Windows Server 2012 to about five servers and see how that goes. For now, we are only performing the pilot deployments in the Chicago corporate office. Later in the year, we might need to implement other tools other than just MDT, because we're going to have multiple branches. So look forward to that. The lab setup. What I have set up is all virtual machines. And even though this is a lab or test environment, you can set up your production environment with every single one of the machines that we cover in all lessons in virtual environments. What I have is over on the left hand side, I've got a domain controller. I've named him DC1. He's also running DNS, of course, which DC isn't running DNS these days. And I have a DHCP scope configured on him. He has a static IP address of 10.10.10.50. Over on the right-hand side, I have a member server to the Globomantics Inc. domain. His name is DeployServe. It's running the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit, or MDT, and it's version 2012, update 1. This guy's also got a static IP address of 10.10.10.55. Now just to kind of hit from a 50,000 foot view what MDT can do for you. The basic features are you can perform bare metal deployments. With bare metal deployments, that's either a computer that doesn't have an operating system at all installed, or the one that is currently installed is going to be wiped clean and then you'll perform a brand new deployment to that machine. The refresh scenario is when you're refreshing the operating system on an existing machine. You're going to keep that machine. You might be going from Windows 7 to Windows 8 or Vista to Windows 8. But the whole point is you're keeping the hardware. In a replace scenario, you're getting rid of the old hardware and you're bringing in new. So you may currently have a Windows 7 workstation machine and your user has stored data, of course, locally, and we have applications and application settings, some of the same applications that will be installed on your Windows 8 machine. So what we need to do on their Windows 7 workstation is capture all their users' data settings like IE favorites and application settings and store those on a server somewhere. Then we're going to return that machine to whoever we leased it from or toss it in the trash can, whatever you're going to do with it. Bring in the brand new machine, and this is like a bare metal, except you're going to restore the user's data. So on the new machine, we'll lay down the Windows 8 image, and then we'll restore the user's data, settings, and application settings. The advanced features. This is when we get to get into a little bit of fun. I'm going to cover the database feature. And I really hope that while you're setting up your deployment solution, you're not simply thinking about rolling out Windows 8 today. You're thinking about the fact that you're going to be rolling out Windows 8 today, but you will continue to use this deployment solution moving forward over the next two, three, four years. 
So why not take just a little bit of extra time, set everything up perfectly, and every time a machine needs to be imaged or re-imaged later for troubleshooting purposes, the database can answer all of the questions for the deployment for each machine automatically. Piece of cake. Deploying from a USB or a DVD, this is fantastic. I love the media feature. This allows you to deploy the entire operating system image along with any applications you'd like to add, drivers, packages, anything you want to put in there. And you can deploy it from the USB or DVD if it'll fit with no network connectivity to your MDT deployment server at all. The last topic in advanced features is replicating either portions of your deployment share or the entire deployment share to a machine in a branch office so that in that branch office they can perform their deployments locally and not have to cross sometimes unreliable WAN links to get to the deployment server at the corporate headquarters. Those are called linked deployment shares. Now you know what we're starting with, how our lab environment is set up and configured, and pretty much what we're going to cover over the next few lessons. I hope you enjoy, and thanks for watching.